Hey guys, Higgy Pop here. Ding ding. Happy Halloween. Welcome to the Hawk's Nest. And uh, thanks for joining me, man. Real quick, you know, I got, I, I can't, I can't, uh, you know, not talk to you guys on Halloween. This is huge, huge. You know, it used to be real huge. In my neighborhood, there was tons of trick-or-treaters back in the day. Our neighborhood was alive. Young kids everywhere. Then it changed. Now everyone's old. No one does nothing. Things change, you know what I'm saying? And uh, it was crazy. Halloween was fun. I was the youngest of a lot of kids, so uh, I, my imagination was going crazy as a young kid, as a young Higgy Pop. I couldn't get enough of it. And, uh, yeah, I mean, my, my brothers used to scare me all the time, always making noises. Oh, ooh. I'd be like, stop! Jimmy. I was like, stop, man! They won't stop. They won't stop. Yeah, man, dressing up was fun. Of course, we didn't have a lot of money. Everything was homemade, you know? It'd be Dracula with a cape. It was just a windbreaker with some Vaseline in your hair. You looked like a greaser from uh, The Outsiders. Look at this kid. Remember this? I was Wolfman. Oh, yeah, this is classic. Got this at a tag sale. You were there. You were there. Yeah, the other day was fun. Went over some westerns. <laughs> And one of my first videos was Scalp Hunter. That's my favorite Western series. And uh, those that's a great, great series, man. Scalp Hunter. Love it. Love it. And uh, holy mackerel. Whoa. That's what happens when I get, when I get something caught in my zipper. I'm like, yeah. All right. Let's look at some, uh, you know, some horror comics real quick. Real quick. Let's get it done. Yeah, they used to scare me when I was a little kid. They used to get a kick out of it. My, my, my mom used to go, leave him alone! I was up there crapping a Twinkie. I mean, jeez, I, like, I ain't got enough problems. Now I'm paranoid. All right, what do we got? I just grabbed some random stuff, random stuff. Here's Frankenstein Monster, issue number six. I love these covers, man. I love it. This is uh, Mike Plug. This one's in a whoa plus grade. I give it a whoa plus. And, um, it's nice, though. I love the art. I love the art. Let's get a good angle here. There we go. He says, You, I know you. You are the last of the Frankensteins. And you must die. Yeah, that's it. Tell him, Frankie. Issue number six. That's, uh, back in, uh, 73. And, uh, oh, here, you know what? Here's some Halloween-themed uh, comics. These are very recent. This is uh, from 2007, The Infinite Halloween Special, DC. A lot of stories in there. 13 Tales of Terror. Here's a uh, DC Universe Halloween Special, back in 2008. Huh? Huh? Here's a DC Universe Halloween special in 2009, 13 All New Tales of Terror. Check it out. There's Bizarro. Me, me not Bizarro. Here's DC Universe Halloween special 2010. Costume contest. Look at him. Look at him. He's one of my favorites. One of my favorites. Solomon Grundy. Halloween's not on a Sunday. So we're very busy in the Higgins household. Dark Side. Are you afraid of Dark Side? This is a one shot. This came out last year. It's kind of Halloweeny. Mama Higgs is still not doing good. She took a downturn. That's what's scaring me, not Halloween. So she's at the uh, she's getting a cat scan right now. I got five seconds to do a video, and I need you guys like the air I breathe. I try to get my mind off it, so I mowed the mowed the backyard and started blowing leaves. I'm like, my mind's crazy. So I got to talk to you guys. Let's get scared. Ah! All right. Sleepy Reader six 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 did a great video. You got to check it out. And he was in Connecticut again. The dude didn't, didn't give me a ringy ring. I thought we'd hang out, you know. You know. Turn the place upside down. Go crazy. No, he said next time. Next time. We'll get together. Secrets of Sinister House. Issue number 16. All right. 
This is a Nick Cardi cover. Don Perlin does the art inside. And, uh, yeah, this guy's towing the house out of there. He's like, mm -mm, it's coming with me. This is February of 74, the month and year I was born. That's when everything changed for everybody, baby. Oh, yeah. I remember I was inside my mom's womb, right? And I could hear the doctor. It's kind of muffled, but he's like, there's, a, there's quite a risk that your son might be artistic. And <laughs> I was like, oh, artistic. I said, What's, why is that a risk? You know? And I, I do sketch a lot. He was right. And. Ah, here's a little DC unexpected issue number 153 black hole of of wrath Here's a skeleton There's a skeleton. He was walking the dog and it just died Here is witching hour. It's midnight the witching hour issue number 59 reunion in blood the corpse wore shoes and the hanging judge I read that not too long ago. This is a uh, Luis Dominguez October of 75. Spooky! Spooky! Secrets of Sinister House. Issue number 13. A nice 20 center. Uh, we have a rat infestation. And they're about this big. September of 73. Nick Cardi on the cover. Yeah. Yeah. Unexpected. I used to wear, I wear a lot. Of, I got a lot of costumes here. Look. Man, look. Costumes. Let me put this one on. Yeah. Remember this? This is flat. This is when I got things to do in a, in a, I'm like, gotta go, see you later. Ding, 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 ding. Yeah. Boo! And uh, what else do I got? I got all sorts of stuff. I got, got the classic Chewbacca. <laughs> I got, I got, Sandman, oh yeah baby, oh yeah, what else we got, all sorts of stuff, oh yeah, look at this one, Vampire, yes! Unexpected, issue number 156. Yes! Oh, yeah, look at that. Nick Cardi, March of 74. Look. The guy's got a Muppet, he's like this. Watch this. Having a good old time. Alright, hang on. The House of Secrets, issue number 142. November of 76. The House of Mystery, issue number 259. The Night of the Gargoyle. Seven more chilling tales. August of 78. Shut the gate! Oh yeah, look at this guy. Unexpected. Issue number 237. That's all Jack Sparling art. Rich Buffler's on the cover with Steve Mitchell. February of 81. Little Atlas Comics with me, Dracula. Son of Dracula. Issue number one. I'm trying to mix it up. I mean, I'm not going to show uh, the Tomb of Dracula. We're going to save that for a whole different time. We'll even have some fun. Jerry Lewis. Issue number 63. With Frankenstein and the Vampire and, all, and the Werewolf. Look at him. Classic, classic. The Frankenstein monster I showed you just the other day. He's assaulting skiers. He doesn't like skiers. 
All right, you Something shut up, sir. Brain. Sir, I said shut up. The House of Mystery, issue number 217. We have a tree that is angry. An angry tree. And uh, the uh, cover is by no other than um, Bernie Wrightson. You could tell. You could tell. Yes. Nesta Redondo does the art inside on this one. That's a classic. September of 73. There's a little Action Comics. I mixed it up, huh? Because of the mummy. Ah, ah, ah. Action Comics, issue number 349. Superman fighting a mummy. Look, I could be Rocky Balboa. Hey, yo, Mick. How you doing? Hey, yo. Where's, how come there's a lock? I'm, Rocky. Rocky used to, he kept, there's a lock on his locker, right? This is uh, Rocky number one. And he, he couldn't open the lock. He's like, hey, yo. He slams the lock, and he, he, he goes in his hat, and he has the, the combination written down on a piece of paper. He's like, he's like and, then he, and then he yells at the guy in the gym. He goes, hey, yo, Mike, well, there's a lock on my lock. He goes, oh, yeah, we had to give that to, uh, you know, we had to give that to Dipper. Hey, yo, you put my stuff on Skid Row. It's been my locker for six years. I don't know. Yo, Mick, yo, Mick tells me to do something. I do it. Hey, yo, where is he? He's out on the floor. He's in a bad mood. So am I. And he goes up to Mick, he goes, Hey, Mick, shut up! All right, time, time! Hey, yo, Mick, how you feeling today? What? How you feeling today? What are you, some kind of doctor? Or something? Hey, yo, what's your problem? What do you mean, what's my problem? What's your problem? Hey, yo, you gave my locker to Dipper. That's my, my locker for six. Yeah, yeah, well, you know what? Dipper needed it. Dipper's a climber, and uh, uh, Dipper's a contender, you know? You, you know who you are? Uh, what? A tomato! Uh, yeah, did you, you know, I run in a business here, not a soup kitchen. Uh, did you fight last night? Yeah, I won. I knock out in the second round. Who'd you fight? Spider Rico. <laughs> He's a bum. You think everyone I fight's a bum? Well, ain't they? Rocky, this is another one you don't see too much. Dell Comics, Ghost Stories. Boom. This is October of 72. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Strange tales you cannot, must not believe. Boris Karoff, this is uh, number 49 from 73. I remember reading this. This they, they live on a farm, and this this monster is in there. And the and the kid that lives on the farm made friends with the monster. Ah, oh, here it is. Hold on. No more Rocky. Where is? It? Oh! Giant size werewolf issue number three. Classic, classic. Ah. Oh. Spotlight, issue number three, starring Werewolf. The Thing in the Cellar. That's me, The Thing in the Cellar. And Werewolf, by Night, issue number five. A werewolf fighting wolves. And Creatures on the Loose, featuring Man Wolf, issue number 31. That's a classic. I love that cover, man. September of 74. George Tuska and Vince Coletta. Crazy stuff. Crazy stuff. Let's see. <laughs> they throw the guy in the back of the cop car. They're like, all right, pal. Just keep it keep it down back there, will you? Then all of a sudden, look out. Uh-oh. That's a, that's a, uh, This is a victim of an Ugats. An Ugats is someone that draws on a comic book cover. They put a little shkevats on the comics. All right. Here's Ghost, issue number one. A white wedding. He's like, I pronounce you man and wife. Now lift her veil and kiss your bride. You first, pal. Uh, your Honor, um, can I leave? And uh, September through October of 71. Jim Apero art. Yeah, dude. A lot of stories in this one. A lot of stories. Nice. 
And um, Tony D's a nigga it does a lot of art in here too. You know, he's known for Jonah Hex and a lot of Western stuff. Here is Ghost, issue number 76. Boom. The cops are skeletons. And here is Secrets of Haunted House, issue number 15. He's alive! Then we'll have to shoot him! Shoot him again! Three thrilling tales. Do you dare enter the house of mystery? Issue number 216. Crazy, man. That's a heck of an Uber drive. I'll be like, you. I'll let you off here. Secrets of Sinister House. Issue number 18. The house that death built. Yep. Death built it. Is that uh, up to code? And... What is this one? Oh, this is Dr. Specter. Little Dr. Specter. The occult files of Dr. Specter. Awesome art. Awesome art. And House of Secrets. A nice 20 center. Issue number 102. House of Secrets. Issue number 135. This is uh, Bernie Wrightson's on the cover. This is from 1975, back in the day. House of Secrets. House of Secrets, issue number 137. Ole, muchacho. House of Secrets, issue number 144. Crazy, that's crazy. Crazy perspective, she has a giant hand. All right, Weird Mystery Tales, DC Comics, issue number 21. The House of Mystery, issue number 242. The vampire is walking into my trap, and once I've killed him, I'm out of danger forever. Vampire's already dead. Witching Hour! Issue number 58. <laughs> Get on the bus, son. We're going to Camp Fear. Bye, son. Bye. Make sure you change your underwear. You're going to have to. And modern comics, a little reprint, Scary Tales. Spooky story, Scary Tales. And this is Charlton. Charlton. We're doing the Charlton. Beyond the Grave. Issue number two. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. He's like, <laughs> I'm out of here. All right, these are different. These are different. Number issue number one of Tales from the Crypt, double size first issue. This is from I don't know what is that called? Gladstone Comics. Trying to show you a little different stuff. Charles in Charles in. We're doing the Ghostly Tales issue number one hundred and sixty eight. Trying to show you a variety, a variety here. Here's Grimm's Ghost Stories by Whitman. A jolly good ride to death and rival nights in life and in death. Slim Whitman. And what do we got here? Okay, we showed you this the other day. Elvira! Alright, Brian Boland's on the cover. Hello, Governor. I'm Brian Bowling, I is. I went to DJ's Cards and Comics today in North Haven, Connecticut. And I go in there, I was like... <laughs> and everyone's like... Higgy, higgy, higgy. I was like, guys, guys, relax. Relax. I did put my pants on with both legs at the t same time today. So... This is warranted. You should be saying higgy, higgy, higgy. But, uh, and one kid's like, hey, can you, can you, can you bless my, uh, can you bless my rosary beads? I said, sure, sure, sure. Yeah, I carry holy water. Just chill out. Single file, people. Anyways, I picked this up. Superman, issue number 188. This is 
one I didn't have. All right. This is July of 66. All right. This is when uh, Chris Swan and uh, George Klein are on the cover. And um, this is a uh, school for Superman assassins. All right. The writer is Otto Bender. And uh, the Galaxy Crimeteers get together and they start training to be assassins. Superman killing assassins. All right. And then uh, they, they train themselves by fighting a, uh, a Superman robot. And yeah, you know. This is classic Superman stuff. I mean, it is deep, deep thoughts. I mean, you really got to get into it. He's saying, idiots, you get zero on this exam. If you can't even kill me in an android duplicate of Superman, you'll flunk this course. Now find a way to destroy me or be expelled. Even the android's got a smart mouth. I'd be like, somebody pee on a spark plug. We're taking this guy down. And, ah, oh, this is nice. I give this a grade of, whoa, plus. But I needed it, man. Issue, I didn't have this one. Ah, oh, man. Issue number 151, World's Finest. Boom. All right. Okay. Now, this is called uh, the infinite, infinite Evolutions of Batman and Superman. This satellite is crashing to Earth, right? But it's made of kryptonite. Go with it. Let's go with it now, all right? It's made of kryptonite. So Superman calls up Batman and says, yo, yo, Batty, I need a hand with this, right? So then it's, uh, they, they catch it in a giant net. Just go with it, all right? And uh, so it affects him. It makes Batman into, it makes Batman into a, a cold and uh, like angry and calculating jerk with a giant head, right? Which is what Batman is now, cold and calculating current day Batman and it turns Superman into like a a, 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 a caveman like me Superman you know and uh, yeah and then but the best part is the second story is Congorilla Congorilla Bill classic it's called Congorilla's Last Stand super super great man I love it let's take a look this is August of 65 those were the days and um here we go. As you can see, there's a little skivitz right there, and a little, there was something else to it. Where was it? Oh, right here. A Superman's shoulder. Put your head on my shoulder. All right. Let's see. All right, Congorilla. Where is he? Here we go. Yes. Boom. There he is. Look at him. He's like, hey, how are you? He's a big golden gorilla. Congorilla Bill. Can't get enough of him. Classic stuff. Love it. Love it. Oh, look at the first story. See, they catch they catch the satellite in a net. It can happen. It can happen. All right, and I found this to go along with my westerns. <laughs> you old owl hoot! All right, we got um. I actually saw this the other day. Remember, I was downtown at where the Yaleys live at that uh, alternate universe I told you the other day, and they're all uppity, you know, and. Uh, I told you, New Haven's known for, uh, I, well, I, that's another thing, I, I said it's known for pizza parlors and package stores. People are like, what's a package store? That's a liquor store. That's what we call them here in New England. Because, you know, we put a little twist on everything. Just like tag sales. People are like, what's a tag sale? It's a yard sale. And uh, we're also known for Lou's Lunch, the first uh, place to invent a hamburger. Big deal. You know, huge, huge. They, they don't, if you, put, if you ask for ketchup, they kick you out. So every time I go, I ask for ketchup. I'll be like, I, I got this burger to go. I got it. All right. This is Charlie. 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 We're doing the Charlie. This is July of 54, Golden Age. Oh, yeah, baby. This is Texas Rangers in action. Boom. Issue number five. Real nice, man. Let me show you. I got to show you. I got to crack this one open for you. July of 54. Woo! 
You won't allow who? Texas Rangers in action. Yes. Look at these colors are popping inside. Popping. This guy's, he's like, check me out, man. I'm ready. I'm ready. It's the gun show. Yes. I love this one. This is great. This is great. I mean, come on. This is all classic stuff. All right. Boom. Texas Rangers. And I got one more. To go along with my Frankenstein. The Frankenstein monster at bay. Fury of the night creature. Look at Frankenstein. Eh? That's issue number 14. This is January of 75. All right? The cover is Ron Wilson and Klaus Jansen. And that monster there, it's, it's got a, a head of a boar, a wild boar. And uh, it's the Fury of the Night Creature, written by Doug Mensch. And the pencils are by Val Mayurk. The second story is They Don't Complain. And that, this, those, uh, the art is by Sam Queskin. And uh, there's a Higgy in that story. His name is Higgybotham. Distant, distant cousin of mine, Higgybotham's. And uh, yeah, man, check it out. So I just wanted to say hi, guys, on Halloween. All right. Just wanted to check in. That's all I wanted to do. You know what I'm saying? All right. Maybe we'll sing a song. What do you say there, Skeleton? We could also read this. Big giant tomb of Dracula. Let's see. Let's sing a song. Maybe that'll help. Maybe that'll help. Bow 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 bow. You guys are the best. You guys are the best. Let's see what we got here. I've got no cash It's gone in a flash No gonna cry Car comics to get me by The good times ain't dead There's comics that need to be read Will always be a fan Of my man Hawkman there's bills to pay. There is also the JSA. If I'm feeling fatigued, I got the Justice League. I read my comics and pray. The Hawk's Nest will be okay. Gonna go back to the start. Read your comics cause they make you smart. <laughs> Guys, thanks for hanging out. Read your comics cause they make you smart. Happy Halloween.